What's going on, guys? The MMA Island team. We are bringing the main event of the evening. Kind of uh, a little bit of uh, Cater Magam uh, Cater and Zabit uh, vibes to it because the three yeah. round main event hasn't been that since, and it's kind of uh, painful, as it, I guess you could say. But we got the three round main event, and it's a good fight in Shabazi and Edmund Shabazi and taking on Derek Brunson. I'm gonna pass it on to Zach to make the pick for the first for the first pick for the main event of the evening. So the thing is with Edmund Shabazian, I keep waiting for something to not impress me with him because I don't want to believe that Edmund Tarverdian can have success in MMA. I don't want to believe that. And I kind of feel bad because I just don't think he's that good of a coach, but uh, Shabazian has proven to me that he's the real deal. He is as, as much as I doubted this guy, because I don't think his coaching is up to par throughout his career. I don't think I can do that anymore. His striking game is elite. He has very good grappling as well. Everything he does has just looked awesome. His kicks, his punches, uh, his takedowns. <coughs> they're all just exceptional so far. And, I mean, he's really – it's kind of stereotypical. He's going through the middleweight gatekeeper ladder. I mean, first you go through Brad Tavares, then you go to Derek Brunson. That's, that's kind of what you do to prove that you're a top contender in the UFC. And Derek Brunson has kind of found a career resurgence as of late. He's, he moved to Jackson Wink, because, and he has two wins now. One over Elias Theodoro. Okay, not the greatest. And then a yeah. win over Ian Heinish. You, can, you yeah. can value that win pretty highly. And as yep. we know, if you beat Derek Brunson, you're, top, you're, you're one of the best middleweights in the world. Okay, Adesanya, Jacare, Anderson Silva, Robert Whitaker, Yoel Romero, and Jacare again. Okay, those are his losses under the Zufa Manor. Silva lost that fight, too. That was a bullshit decision, I'm just going to say. All right. Anyway, Derek Brunson, what we know that he does well is he can wrestle. He can wrestle pretty well, but we've seen, I don't think he's going to be able to do that to Shabazzian. He has decent volume. He has a good, he has pretty good striking defense. I'll give that to him, but he's not the fighter he used to be. He's getting up there in age. And so two mm -hmm. things, the two things that I've noticed from Derek Brunson that have started to diminish are a big deal, his cardio and his chin Two those two yeah. things are just, they're going like, ugh, Derek Brunson's chin is shot. If he gets hit with a solid shot, he's going down. He's going out. And Shabazian's power, Jesus, dude. It is legit. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I think this fight is a little bit closer than a lot of people are saying it is because Derek Brunson does have the opportunity to use the wrestling because that's where Darren Stewart found uh, Edmund Shabazian in a bit of trouble. But... I, I don't think he'll be able to get there. I think Shabazzian's really physically strong. He's improved a lot since the Darren Stewart fight. Is that the only time Shabazzian's gone to a decision? In, in, yes, in, it is. I, it is. Not really in, his, in his career or in his UFC career? career. His whole career. His whole career, man. I, that's like the one time he's ever really looked vulnerable, in my opinion. And, yeah, I think his power is enough to put away Derek Brunson in the very first round. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to have to agree with you. Welcome to my lock of the fight. The calculator also has this one as the lock of the fight. You, Man, said, that like yeah, you said that for the last tonight. one. You said that for the yeah, last one. Yeah, you said that more than You one. literally said that more than one. No, no, no. My, my, it was one of my locks of the fight. We're going to kill you, Michael. <laughs> this is right. the lock of the fight. Number one, I, I, I'm not saying the, 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 Cal <laughs> the Calderwood Maya is my lock of the fight, is one of my locks of the fight, but if I had to have number one, the it's night? a whole bunch this one. The Dude, night. I'm on your ass! <laughs> hey, I'm not making any, making any wrong points here. This is 100% my lock of the fight, no matter what. And, and I'm not saying it's 100% because I do think Brunson has a chance in this one, but Shabazian, man, Shabazian has absolutely looked amazing throughout his career. It's crazy to when you talk about like output and just natural looking, looking like well rounded. He's cr he's one of the top right now, if you have to put it at that early in his career, albeit, but 4.11 strikes landed per minute at 52% accuracy. He absorbs 2.16 per minute and a 62% striking defense rate. You think, okay, this dude's got crazy striking stats. Let's move to the grappling. He's probably going to get smoked. Nope. He's got a six, he averages 6.77 takedowns per, per fight at 75% takedown, <coughs> nearing point or nearing a one submission average per 15 minutes. 
this dude is just off the charts when you talk about stats wise not only stats wise ko power is unreal with this dude and when you look at brunson people always talk about brunson being the gatekeeper and and i th- i don't think there's any way you can't because you look at the competition that he's fought he's he's beat the guys who are kind of mainstays in the division that are guys that are just like able to be doing their thing he fought Machida late, late in Machida's career. Uh, Theodoro uh, Heinisch, lit, like like Uriah Hall, Alvi Herman, Lieben. These are guys who are just like they're good. They're 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 tough talent to face. But if you really want to talk about the top top guys in the division, Adesanya, Souza, Silva, Whitaker, Romero, those are the guys. Those are the guys. And from what Shabazian has shown me, he has been the guy throughout his career. I don't see it being any different tonight. I see him going up against a guy who's been knocked out five times, four times in the first round. And uh, Mr. Uh, first round TKO finish adds another one to his list. Um, really, really excited for this fight. Shabazian is probably one of my favorite fighters. Um, 22 years old. I think he goes in here and just totally uh, blows Brunson out of the water. Really, really excited for this one. I'll take uh, Shabazian at a first round knockout. And the calculator totally agrees with me as it's lock of the fight. My lock of the fight, 73.9% chance for Shabazian to win this one. Can I just add something quickly? Um, the takedown numbers are a bit misleading because he, he did have eight takedowns against Darren Stewart, but then he's only had one other takedown in his entire UFC career. And he only oh. has four fights. So it's, it's, a, it's a small sample size thing. Anyway, go on. All right. So, um, for me, um, I'm this. Uh, so Shabazian, Shabazian is the second biggest favorite on the card, which isn't surprising. Really? Yeah, he is. Which it's it's a little surprising to me. Like, um, I guess, like, I mean, you could say, like, you know, Ian Heinich. I maybe some people say that this fight gives them similar vibes because you know Heinich was on a five fight win streak, and Brunson beat him, but. I don't think the same thing happens here. Like, with Shabazzian, the one concerning thing might have been the, um, one sec, sorry. Just, uh, sorry, my, my computer is uh, loading here. Oh, yeah, sorry. So the one uh, concerning thing might have been the Darren Stewart fight because he did just win by split decision. But you know what? To be fair, that was his very first UFC fight. A lot of guys, like, who, who were, like, really good fighters, have that UFC jitters kind of they don't look as great uh, in their in their debut fight in the UFC. He still got he still got the win, um, and then he goes on to get three first round finishes. Uh, finishing Brad Tavares is the one that stands out to me. He knocked Tavares out. That the shit head kick. was I, crazy. I, I I do think Tavares is a more durable fighter than Derek Brunson. Um, I think I mean he took some big shots from Israel Adesanya. Um, like he took I think a head kick or something. Like you know Tavares is a tough guy, and Shabazzian was able to put him out in the first round. And with Derek Brunson, I think Michael said like, you know Brunson has you know Brunson beat some some good guys, but nothing crazy. I mean I I do think he beat Anderson Silva, but even now beating Silva in 2017, I don't I don't think that's really that amazing. Um, you know, if you look at some of the guys on this record, you got Uriah Hall, Sam Alvey, Ed Herman, Leota Machida. Oh, kind of an old, you could say, kind of washed up Machida. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think Brunson's that I, – I don't think – Hey, Machida had a flying knee knockout last year, okay? Fair. Well, what, you talking about – Well, it wasn't a flying knee knockout per se, but it basically was. Against Chael. Yeah. It didn't actually happen. Chael, but, but we're talking the Chael of old. Uh, I look, I'm sorry. That fight didn't even happen. I didn't mean to interrupt. That's a that was a figment of my imagination. No, no worries, man. Um, so yeah, no, like I could see maybe a little bit of the high edge Brunson vibes, but I don't think so. I think I think that Shabazzian's proved to be better than high edge. Um, I think he's definitely got more power. Um, I think Brunson's chin. I mean, how many times has Derek Brunson been knocked out? Let me have it. Five, five, four five times. times in the first round. Five, five times in the first round. Yeah, I, I don't think his wrestling is like and, – and you guys said he took down uh, Stewart multiple times, right? Like, I think Shabazzian has a ground game. Uh, no, I, I think this one – I wouldn't say it's the lock of the card, like, I, I, uh, but I do think Shabazzian gets it done, and, and probably in the first as well. Okay, all right, ahead, so all of, y'all have, all of y'all have it first-round knockout? Yeah. 
perfect. I agree. Well, I, 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 I agree that everything is pointing towards it should be a first round knockout. Edmund's so good at getting it done in the first round. Derek is known to get out of there, like get put away yeah. in the first round. Mm-hmm. But you're looking at a guy in Derek Brunson out of seven losses and 20 victories in a 27 fight career. Um, he's been knocked out five times, lost two decisions and yeah. never been submitted. What no. I think is going to happen. I mean, you know me, I'm a conspiracy theorist with this kind of shit. I think <laughs> that Edmund Shabazian is going to come out and show his multi-layered game and let Brunson try to wrestle, not let Brunson try to wrestle him a little bit, but I, I hope you know what I mean. And mm-hmm. then like, and then I think he's going to, I think he subs Brunson in like round two. Uh, I can see it. I mean, he has a sub. His second most recent win was a sub. So, I mean, it's yeah, possible. Yeah, but Derek, Derek, Derek never, never has been subbed ever. So, I think no, it'll be cool. he hasn't. I think it'll be – not only did he beat Derek Brunson and he proved that he's, you know, past the gatekeeper part, the top, he the top can piece. also finish on the ground versus someone that high level. Yeah. Hey, well, Slick Diaz ending it off with a bang. That is our picks for the with fight. Bang, guys are watching with a bang! It. If you guys are watching it reversed, make sure you guys do check out the other fight pick videos. And I'm going to give a shout out just because of how amazing of an ending that was. Check out Slick Diaz MMA Sesh on Spotify. Let you give your advertisement for it. What do you guys talk about on that? <coughs> well, there's a lot of coughing. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I just have, I have a bunch of different people. On. I have, I have, I have shows with, with two of the three other people in this video. I have a, show with michael fry called mma math slash thematics mma math thematics basically and then we've got what are we it's hand wraps yeah uh, that's what redux. we're going with. hand wraps redux yeah we're going yeah uh with zach good old going deep uh yeah we just we do a bunch of bunch of laid back mma talk it's nothing super serious I'll say a lot of stupid shit on there. It's just for fun, so you should check it out. Thank you for the for the plug, Mike. Now hey, I feel left out. We don't have a show together. What the fuck? <laughs> this is this is our show together. Hey, Fair we enough. love it. We're, we're we're really really. I mean, I already have I already have like four mini shows. I can't add another. I know. One. I'm fucking with you, man. It's cool. It's cool. Don't make me feel bad. <laughs> well, we're really excited for this card. We know you guys are too. We want to see your guys' thoughts in the comments. Anyone got Brunson in this one? You let us know. We got a clean sweep in this one. We all got Shabazian. Uh, there's a lot of queen sw- clean sweeps. There's a lot of mismatches. There's a lot of lone wolves. Check out the other fight pick videos and make sure you guys show your support. And we'll see you in the next one.